All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechach Kodash, the one our elders and apostles of great meals, and I do it well, and salutations and blessings to you, I can doubt pushing his word with truth, sincerity, and charity, and risking your lives to do so. All right, today I want to get into this quick lesson. I'm going to title it, We Must Work for Our Reward. All right, because hey, we, hey, we have a great reward coming, man. All right, the kingdom of heaven, salvation, you know, a, a lordship over all the heathens, man. All right, but hey, for that to come, we have to work. We must put in the work for Yahweh by Shema Shai, not being slothful, all right, not doing this grudgingly, all right, but doing this with, with, a, with a happy heart, man, all right, and loving to serve Yahweh by Shema Shai and putting in that work as much as we can, man, as much as, you know, the Lord has, has given you the spirit to do so, all right, some, some brothers can do more than others, all right, some hey, do, do a little bit less, man. But we all putting forth our, our, our best foot, all right? And we're giving it everything that we got, man. So hey, you got to work for that reward. You got to work for that salvation. Because they have faith. Faith and works go hand in hand. If you got faith in your heart, Shai, you're going to put in the work, man, so that you can receive the reward that you believe that you're going to receive. So this is, I'm going to start with this. Second Ezra 9 and verse 7. It says, and everyone that shall be saved, all right, so everyone is going to get deliverance from Yahweh Shai and the angels, and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. So we're going to be delivered by our, by our works and a, our faith, which your faith is shown by your works. All right, shows that you believe in Yahweh Shai, Shai, show that you fear Yahweh Shai, Shai. As it says with, uh, with Noah, all right. Noah moved with fear. He moved. He put it into action. Because right? he believed that Yahweh Hashem Al Shai was going to do what he said he was going to do. If you build this ark, you're going to be delivered. You're going to be saved. But if you do not build this ark, you're going to drown right along with all these wicked, evil people. So guess what he did, man? He moved. He put it into action. He showed his faith. Hebrews 11 and verse 7. Hey, we got to show our faith by going out on, on the highways and bad ways. Rebuking, lifting up our voice like a trumpet, telling our people their sins, their transgressions, telling them to come back to Yahweh by Shemal Shai. All right, that's how we are, we're showing our works in these times. All right, not following this world and doing the things that this world does, man, but abstaining from all of that. Hebrews 11 and 7, it says, By faith, Noah, being warned of Yahweh of things not seen as yet, moved with fear. He didn't see that. He didn't see rain coming from the sky. He didn't see geysers shooting up from the ground, people drowning. He didn't see any of that, man. All he heard was the voice of Yahweh Shema Shai, and he moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house. So he built that ark, all right, so that he can deliver himself and his household. And we're doing the same thing, man. All right, we're doing this work so that we could potentially save our household, potentially save ourselves, man. But hey, the only way to do that is, is, put, is putting in that work with the best of your ability, everything that you got, not wavering. As it says in uh, 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, which, Lord, when I get that, it says, By the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteous, which is by faith. And these things are all by faith, man. All by action. All by moving. Not just saying that I believe that this is going to happen and sitting down, eating a bag of Cheetos, playing video games all day. No, you, you got you to gotta work. And this speaking to myself first and foremost. So this is second. Go back to the second Ezra. Second Ezra 9 and verse 8. It says, Shall be preserved from the sad perils. And hey, yeah, your faith, your faith in your works is gonna is gonna help you get protection from your Shai. It's gonna a hey, help you eating that day, drinking that day, see the reward of the wicked. So it says, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them from the beginning. And it's, it's all about the elect, man. So it's all about all right, those that were here from the beginning, serving Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, believing in, in, in the Lord, man, which is the elect. And these these are the only men that are going to be delivered and saved. And the elect is going to work. They're going to put forth their hand to the plow, and they're not going to look back, man. If they fall, they're going to get back up and keep working for Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. So um, I hear that First Corinthians. So I can. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 58. It says, Therefore, my brethren, therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, 
All right, so we're supposed to be unmovable in this thing, man. We're supposed to be firm, all right, in this believing in Yahweh Shemal Shai. No, I know that the Lord is going to come back and deliver us. No, I know that the Lord is going to destroy Babylon the Great and all these wicked people. So what are you going to do? You're going to work. You're going to do these lessons. You're going to go out in the highways and bad ways. You're going to be amongst the brotherhood. You're going to be brotherly, you know. You're going to do these things to the best of your ability because you have faith. Always abounding in the work of Yahweh. So you're always doing as much as you can, man. Hey, as it says in Sirach, the 43rd chapter, hey, we can never do enough. We can never go far enough for Yahweh Bashim al -Shah. So it's always more and more work that, that can be done, man. It's always more that we can do. All right, because our reward is great in the kingdom of heaven. The Lord is not unrighteous to forget our, 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 our works, man. Which, hey, I'm, I'm a grad as Hebrews 6 chapter, but the Lord is, is not unrighteous to forget the things that we're doing for him. There is a reward for what we're doing, man. But we have to put forth that work. We have to have faith that he's going to do it. it. says, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Our labor is not in vain, man. We're doing all this for reward. We're doing all this for protection, deliverance. All right, as all these wicked ass people out here ain't doing shit for the Lord. Ain't doing nothing, man. But being wicked. Serving a flesh. Serving Esau, you know. And you, hey, hey, you think we're not going to get a reward for what we're doing? For making our bodies a living sacrifice? Yes, man, we're going to get a reward. Got to have faith in it. We got to work towards that. This is Hebrews 6 and 10. It says, For Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed towards his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And yes, we're doing this week in and week out, lifting up our voice like a trumpet, man. Lord ain't going to forget that. He's seeing all our works. Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgression. And the house of Jacob their sins. This is what we have been commanded to do. This is what we have been sent out to do, man. All right, and The Lord is not going to forget this. He sees all of our works. Every time we go out there on the highways and byways. Every time we do a lesson. Every time we study. We read. So that we can get better and better at serving our, our nation. All right. Getting getting uh healing our nation. All right. Giving them this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding. All right. First and foremost, the elect. All right. Because these are the only only ones that, that actually care about this word, man. The only ones that, that truly matter. All right. This is the ones that we're trying to uh, uh we're trying to save. We're trying to wake up. You know, it says that uh we endure all things for the elect's sake. We endure all things for the elect's sake, man. So that they can be saved the same way that we have been woken up through our elders and apostles. So we're 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 just a hey, keeping it going, man. But this is a this is gonna gonna lead to our great reward. Our works. Our works that, that are coupled with our faith. Because your works is your faith. This is uh Romans 12 and 1. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren. By the mercies of Yahweh. All right. This is all of the mercies of the Lord, man, that we're able to stand upon our feet in great boldness. All right. So that we can have a chance at salvation. This is the mercies of the Lord, man. Us going out in the highways and bad ways doing these lessons is, 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 a, is the mercies of Yahweh. You have an opportunity to be saved. Why wouldn't you put your best foot forward? Why wouldn't you do this with everything that you have, man? Forsaking your, forsaking your life, your wife, your children, you know? And your own life, <laughs> you know, because hey, hey, we're, we're going to get much greater things that, that, that we can't even imagine are right, in the kingdom. Hey, Romans, uh, the eighth chapter, you know, it says that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. So we are to, to make ourselves a living sacrifice unto Yahweh by Shema Shai, because, hey, this is our reasonable service. This is the, the way that we're going to. Uh, be delivered by the Lord, man. So we gotta, we just gotta keep going. We just gotta keep on pushing. This is Romans eight, Romans eight and verse eighteen. It says, "For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us." So the things that we're going through on this side are the sufferings, you know, the hardships, man. All right, they, the the they, the the at times the depression and things like that. All right, it's, it's, it's not worthy to be compared to what we're going to get. All right, the glory that we're going to receive, man, the new bodies that we're going to get, the rulerships that we're, that we're going to be 
given all right, over the heathen nations. Hey, Amen. It's going to be beautiful. And we just got to keep on going and just keep on working. And not worry about the, the mortal thoughts and the things that we're going through on this side, man. We just got to keep on pushing. That's what it's all about. Because our reward is great. So let me get this James. This James chapter 2. Yep, James 2 and verse uh, 14. It says, What doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he have faith and have not works? Can faith save him? So hey, can, can faith alone save you, man? Let's see. It says, If a man or slacky, if a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, all right, so if you, if you don't got a, uh, a particular brother or sister, I don't got clothes, don't got food, and one of you say unto them, depart in peace, be ye warm and filled. So you tell them, hey, 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 go your way, be warm, have a full belly. Is that going to profit them? Is that going to do anything for them? It says, notwithstanding, ye give them not those things which are needful to the body. What doth it profit? So what, what, what does it profit them, man? Just because you said that, just because you have faith that they're, that, that they're going to be uh, warm and that they're going to be full. I, I believe that since I said that, you know, hey, now, now, now you're clothed, now you're warm, now you're full, now your belly is full, now you're satisfied. No, you have to put, you have to put forth that, that work to help them. You got to get them the clothes. You got to give them the food. You got to prepare a meal for them so that they can eat. Then it's going to profit them. Then these things are, are actually going to be into in, effect. It's going to work. But if you're not doing that, it has no profit, man. Even so, faith. If it have not works, is is dead being alone. So if you don't have your 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 works to follow with your faith, it's all dead, man. It doesn't matter. All right, it's a, just like a, a Christian out here. They say that they believe in God, they believe in the Bible, they believe in the Lord, but do they do any of His commandments? Do they do any any, any anything for Him? Do any do they have any works to follow their faith? No, they're hypocrites. Oh, I believe in the Lord, but you over here eating swine. You commit adultery. You're riding in the daytime. You're doing the things that these people are doing in the world, man. You don't have. You don't believe in the Lord. You have no works, and the Lord is not dealing with somebody like that. And they will be destroyed. We have to have our, our works coupled with our faith. It says, "Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith. I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works." So that's how you're gonna show that's how you show your faith in Yahweh Shemel Shai. That's how you show that you truly believe in the Lord, man. By having uh your works to, to follow with your faith. That's how you show that you that you serve and believe in the Lord. You're gonna be out here on the highways and bad ways. You know? You're gonna be out here teaching week in and week out daily as much as you can, doing as much as you can for the Lord. Because you believe. You believe that that he's that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hebrews 4 and 11 says, let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. So we have to labor in order to enter into our rest, man. We got to work. We got to put forth our hand to the plow. Lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. So, hey, we got to just got to keep on pushing. Can't waver because hey, we have people looking at us. We have people looking at us as an example, man. And if we're not doing that, hey, hey, they're, they're going to fall as we are. They're going to think that that's the way to walk. And it's not, man. The way to walk is, is the way that our elders and apostles walk, right? Doing as much as they can. Doing lessons after lessons after lessons. Going out there on the highways and bad ways, man. That's the example that, that we're supposed to be striving to uh, to meet, all right? So I'm going uh, I'm to end on this Hebrews 10. Hebrews 10 and verse 35 says, Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which have great recompense of reward in our confidence, that, that word confidence goes into uh, faith. All right, with faith. Con, with, fidence, faith. All right, so we have faith in Yahweh Shema Shai. We're not going to cast it away. All right, not a letting up, taking our hand off of the plow. All right, but going harder and harder for Yahweh Shema Shai because hey, we have a great recompense of reward. We have great things awaiting us, man. All right, that, that good field. You know, that good field in 2nd Edges, the, the seventh chapter. And hey, we, we got we to gotta cross that path, all right? No matter what we're going through, we just got to keep pushing. It says, for ye have need of patience that after ye have done the will of Yahweh, 
you might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come. And will not tarry. Eh? He's going to come. Yahweh Shai is coming. He's coming with deliverance, and he's coming with death. He's coming, man, one way or another. It says, not, it says now the just shall live by faith. All right, and that faith is gonna is, is, is your works. All right, the just is gonna live by faith. The just is gonna work. The just is gonna put forth their hand, man. They're not gonna waver. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. So if you draw back, you give up. You go back into the world. You be a, 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 a nigga out here, man. The Lord has no pleasure in you, and he, he's going to get rid of you. He's going to destroy you, man, right along with these wicked people because you went back into your vomit. All right, You went back into to, to the world and doing the things that, that were not profitable to you. You know, it says, but we are not of them who draw back onto perdition. Hey, we, we ain't like these people out here. We ain't, hey, we, ain't with that, we ain't with that weak shit, man, that weak mindset. All right, hey, we're going back to the world. Oh, man, I don't think the Lord coming. No, man, we don't got that spirit. We ain't got that mindset, man. We know that Yahweh Bashim al is coming. That's why we're doing this work. That's why we're going to go out and have his bad ways and do what we got to do, man. As much as we can. As, as the Lord allows us to do, you know, and we're going to do it. It says, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. That's us. We believe to the saving of the soul. Us putting forth our hand to the plow. Our, us doing this work. Us doing these lessons, us forsaking friends, family, brethren, sisters, mother, father, our own life. We believe that we're going to get these things, man. So we just got to keep on working and they never give up. Never give up on your how about Shema Shah, man. So yeah, I pray this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakurash, the one that's our and apostles of great meals, and I do it well. And citations and blessings to Akim that are pushing his word with truth, sincerity, and charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.